the nail friends and welcome to the video. So I'm gonna sometimes do like a voiceover this way and I thought it would be kind of more fun that way so then I can kind of explain what I'm doing here and talk to you guys face to face. So in this video I'm gonna be doing a gel manicure. I have the video in front of me so I can kind of tell you guys what I'm doing as I do it. So my client came in and we're gonna do like a Halloween design, something kind of cute. So I had to file down her set from before. So I'm just using a carbide bit I get from Get Buff Nails. They actually have a Canadian site. So I will link that in my description box for you guys because I do like their bits for filing down and prep, which you guys will see here in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a cuticle tool to push the skin back and then we can prep uh, along. So um, you're just gonna push the skin back and then it's gonna help you for getting that cuticle skin under there. I'm just going to actually shorten and shape her free edge because they were getting kind of long on her and I wanted to be shorter and more rounded. Um, we actually did try a square set on her a little while ago, but I just didn't like the shape on her hands. It just didn't suit her. Some people suit rounded and some people suit square and some people suit certain lengths and shapes. So she suits round. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so these are the cuticle tools that I was saying that I get from Get Buff Nails I really like. So this one is really gentle. You just go around the one side first and then you're gonna reverse it and go down the other side. So that's what I do with that tool. And then this tool is like a nice smaller tool that has no pointy end. So it's really, really nice for um, beginners and stuff like that. So I like this tool as my next tool. And then I dust everything off and make sure everything's cleaned off. And then I'm gonna go in with a um, ball bit, but you guys didn't see that. This is what the uh, result looks like right now. Um, I'm going to use the Glitter Balls Dehydrator and Primer for this set, of course. So I made sure there's no dust though. So cleanse the nail before that. Okay, so you guys didn't see, but I did use a base coat. I just, um, my camera was blurry, so I didn't bother putting that in. So the color I'm gonna go in with for this design is the Glitter Balls Cotton Candy. I really, really like this one. It's a super, super light kind of, uh, almost white see-through colors, really, really pretty. Um, before I was going in with something darker on her, I think I was using strawberries and cream. And then I decided to switch her to something lighter just based on what she was asking for the last set. Oh my gosh, you guys, the comments I got on that video were insane. People were so mad that I left color under there, but the point was that we were switching and it was okay because of the design that we were doing, but people don't really know that much about nails. So that's why I'm doing, telling you guys more about this kind of stuff. So I can kind of get the um, misconceptions gone. Um, so yeah, there was color left behind, but that's okay. Cause now uh, look, it's almost fully cotton candy. We cover up this stuff anyways, but I really wanted the light color for this design because um, that's just what I was kind of going for. So I do a thin coat of the cotton candy and then I cure it. And um, that's on all, both hands. And then I'm gonna slowly work on each nail at a time. So right now I'm back on her pinky, just added a little bit more of the cotton candy and then I'm using a small glitter balls brush to pull the product where I want it. Um, and that way everything will be kind of even and smooth and you have just like a lot more control if you use a small brush. And then I can flip my client's hand upside down and go underneath as well and kind of maneuver the product into place. So just using um, my product and my brush to create my structured gel manicure. And then I have my clients uh, cure it when I'm happy with that. And, and they do one hand at a time. So the right hand, she'll cure that. And then I'll work on the left finger, pinky, and then she'll cure that. And then I'll work on the right. So that's what I'm doing here. You guys see me switch back to her other finger. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on her pinky here. But sometimes, sometimes I'll push the skin back. It just helps them um, push the skin back and get a little bit of a closer application. You guys can see here that you really don't need a lot of product, especially when you're doing kind of a shorter gel manicure here. I'm taking the product and I'm pushing it up towards the cuticle area with my small brush and I'm kind of getting it really, really close, as close as I can. And then I'm just using my brush and I'm kind of moving it around and pulling where I want it. And uh, you really don't need a lot. You're just building up a tiny, tiny apex just for that strength. You guys can see how pretty that color is. It's so, so nice. Anyways, I'll show you guys a close up of that, what that color looks like. Anyways, she gave that a cure. <clears throat> so she gave that a cure and now I'm working on the next finger on the other hand and both those fingers are cured and now I'm working on her ring finger. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on all her nails. Um, just apply the product down, apply a bead, and then kind of fill it in. And anyway, so I'm just gonna do that on a couple of nails. You guys can watch along and then I will skip ahead.
Okay, so here's how they look after I've applied. They're super, super pretty. And you can see that if you just are slow and careful, you can kind of apply. So you don't need to do a lot of finish filing. I like to do that. And so right now I'm just cleansing off any kind of tacky layer that's there so I can finish well. Okay, so now I'm just using my hand file to finish um, the shape, get the shape nice and rounded. And then I'm gonna go over the nail and over the sidewalls and around the cuticle area to clean up and make sure everything's nice and smooth and even before we go in with our gel application. So if you apply nice and careful, you really won't have a lot of finish filing to do. Okay, so after that, I buff the nails and then I cleanse the nails, make sure there's no dust left behind. And I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do our design. So on her pinky and her pointer finger, I actually have a, uh, the design I was uh, using as my inspiration is from this artist. And so I just changed the colors and I like the design. I showed her a couple of designs, she picked this one. Uh, so anyways, I'm just doing a thin coat of the Unbelievable Gel Black. You really don't need this to be perfect or anything, so we're gonna go over it with glitter. So I'm just doing a super thin coat of the black on her pinkies and her pointer fingers. So um, yeah, like I said, doesn't have to be thick, doesn't have to look perfect, but I'm just using a gel brush and the potted Unbelievable Gel for that. And then I'm gonna go over this with um, a gel polish glitter. Um, I'm just going to put it on my palette and then place it where I want it. Okay, so on her thumb, I'm kind of doing like a loop loop design like the other photo I showed you. So it's really easy with this gel, you just place it down. Um, and you could do two coats. Um, super easy design. That's why I thought I would do this. I thought it would be really cute for Halloween. Super easy, simple. So I'm going to show you guys that's like if you're looking to do a gel manicure or you could even copy this design with nail polish. So here I'm going in with the glitter. So I think this one's called Luna. And yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of picking it up off my palette just so I get that glitter concentrated and where I want it with my gel brush. And I'm just placing it on the pinky, the pointer finger, and then I will also place it strategically on the black that's on the thumb. When I'm doing stuff like this, I always do like one or two fingers at a time and have her cure it just so I don't accidentally bump anything. So the other hand, hand is curing while I work on that thumb. So this beautiful purple is called Purple Possum. So beautiful. There's also one called um, possum sparkle that's the same but has like a really pretty blue sparkle in it so anyways I'm just going I decided to go with purple instead of green um I just thought I gave her the option I was like oh, I kind of feel like purple today and she agreed so I'm just doing thin 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 lines of this this is gel polish so it's not the potted gel so it's a little bit less um pigmented so I'm just doing a thin 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 coat of it and then I'm just going to go right over it again and um darken that coat up and give that a full cure Okay, so I wanted to use these uh, new clear jelly stamper plates I got from uh, Flora Nail Shop. So Flora is from Talia's Nail Studio and she uh, she sells clear jelly stamper in Canada. And anyway, so she gave, so I got this and I really wanted to use the spiders and the spider webs. So that's what I did here. Um, so I'm just using the black polish, just the plain black polish from Clear Jelly Stamper as well. You can use my code from Flora for Flora. It's Sarah. They're also having a big discount right now for the moving sale discount. So I will make sure you check them out. I'll link it in my description box. So I took that black gel and I'm actually drawing little dots and then using a teeny tiny art brush to create little stars with those dots. And then I'm going to cure that. And then on the ring finger and middle finger, the ones with the bats, it's going to be, um, matte so i'm using uh the luminary matte empower matte top coat 
And then on the other nails, we want them to be shiny. So I'm gonna go in with the glitter balls, no white top coat. And then I'm gonna give everything a full care. And I made sure that the thumbs were shiny too because I liked uh, the sparkle. So this is how they turned out. This is a little um, blurry, so I'm gonna make sure to insert um, what I took on my phone as well. It's not so blurry, but we were just kind of moving and shaking. It's kind of hard with my DSLR. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell below. See you next time. Bye.